Hello friends, Radiology Rapid Revision Series 3. A child presents with a history of injury to the left forefinger, hip with a glass piece. On examination, the finger is swollen and tender. Best investigation to determine the glass uh, foreign body in uh, patient's finger is uh, plain radiograph. Middle-aged lady presents with severe bone pains at multiple sites. Okay, plain uh, radiograph reveals multiple lytic lesions in pelvis, ribs and uh, femur, fracture of clavicles and subperiosteal uh, resorption of metacarpus over the radial aspect. Likely diagnosis is hyperparathyroidism. X-ray of dorsal lumbar spine of 8 years old boy with back pain and mild fever shows solitary collapsed dorsal vertebra with preserved disc space but no uh, associated soft tissue shadow. It is mostly a case of histiocytosis okay, because mild fever, back pain and collapsed dorsal vertebra is there. Okay. X-ray features in mitral stenosis are double atrial shadow, lifting up of left bronchus and posterior displacement of esophagus on barium swallow. X-ray feature of a pin box tumor is driven snow appearance. Wide neural foramina is associated with neurofibromatosis 1, which best estimates the amount of uh, radiation delivered to an organ in the radiation field is absorbed dose. Walls of CT scanner room are coated with lead. Vessel evaluated first in angiography for massive recurrent hemoptysis uh, in a patient of tuberculosis is bronchial artery. I repeat, vessel evaluated first in radiography for massive hemoptysis in a patient of tuberculosis bronchial artery. Used to measure GFR is 99 technetium DTPA. Okay, this is repeatedly asked. Tumor associated with extracranial spread is medulloblastoma. Tumor showing classification on CT scan is most probably meningioma. True about stochastic effects of radiation or probability of the effect is a function of the dose. True about contrast in radiography is that the ionic monomers have 3 iodine atoms per 2 particles in the solution. Tram track appearance on CT of head is seen in Sturge-Weber syndrome. Therapeutic mode commonly employed in intraoperative radiotherapy is electron. Pathophysiological phenomena that occurs during Atherometous plaque formation and is used for screening of asymptomatic coronary plaques on CT is calcium deposition in the atherometous plaque. MRI shows lesion in multiple sclerosis in white matter. The most sensitive investigation for diagnosing ureterine stones in a patient with acute colic is NCCT of abdomen. A major difference between X-ray and light is energy is that the most ionizing radiation is alpha. Okay. The investigation of choice for evaluation of an aneurysm is arteriography. The imaging test most sensitive for early renal tuberculosis intravenous urography. Gold standard for diagnosis of bronchiectasis HRC teachers. The first investigation in a case of suspected subarachnoid hemorrhage is NCCT. The best uh, next investigation in a patient with solitary pulmonary nodule on X-ray is CT scan. Technique in radiotherapy to, to counteract the effect of tumor motion due to breaking is called gating. Supracellular calcification is characteristic of craniopharyngioma. Sudden onset stridor and respiratory difficulty in a 2 year old boy with decreased breath sound and V is on the right side of the right opaque hemithorax on chest x-ray. So mostly it is foreign body aspiration. Stereotactic surgery is used for brain tumors and stereotactic radio surgery is a form of radiotherapy. Solid well circumscribed hypoechoic renal moss and ultrasound abdomen in a 3 year old boy is suggestive of Williams tumor. Single 2 cm space occupying lesions of mixed echogenicity in the right lobe of the liver on ultrasound is found in a 2 year old man. Next investigation is hepatic scintigraphy. Okay, that's also called SPECT. Rib notching on chest radiograph caused by coarctation of iota. Regarding CT, true or decrease in um, Milliampere milli uh, radiation dose exposure significantly in pediatric chest and quality of radiation generated depends on voltage and radiation dose exposure and is directly related to the time of exposure. Rays used for treatment of uh, deep seated tumors are X-rays and gamma rays. Radiolescent stones are allopurinol, orotic acid and xanthin. Radiological signs of scurvy are Frankel's line, pelican spur and zone of Demarcation near epiphysis. Radioisotope commonly used in external beam radiotherapy in the treatment of cancer patients is cobalt 60. Radiation tolerance of whole liver is corticary. Radiation exposure is least among the options in micturating cystoerythrogram. Pure beta avatars are yttrium 90, strontium 90, and phosphorus 32. 
Prophylactic cranial irradiation is indicated in small cell cancer of lung, ALL and NHL. Post rheumatic cysts, hematoma and galactocells contain fat and uh, mammography. Pituitary adenoma is highly vascular in nature. Piezoelectric crystal technique is used in ultrasonography. Objective sign of pulmonary plethora in HS radiograph is diameter of descending right pulmonary artery greater than 16 mm. Non ionizing radiation is used in MRI, thermography, and ultrasonography. Non iodine containing contrast is uh, gadolinium DTPEA. Okay. Multiple air fluid levels and X-ray abdomen in a newborn presenting with intestinal obstruction and constipation. Differential diagnosis are duodenal atresia, large pants, and ileal atresia. MRI is investigation of choice for extraordinary pheochromocytoma. MRI features of mesial temporal sclerosis is atrophy of mammillary body, atrophy of fornix and atrophy of hippocampus. MRI is best for diagnosis of ossified posterior longitudinal ligament, low signal intensity on all MR sequences and gradient echo MR sequence may overestimate the canal stenosis. MRCP uses heavily T2 weighted images without contrast. Most useful radio pharmaceutical for bone imaging is 99 technetium MDP. Most radiosensitive phase of cell cycle is G2M phase. Most preferred route for cerebral uh, angiography is transfemoral. Most penetration beam among the following uh, is generally 18 uh, millivolt photon. Okay. Um, most, it's not millivolt, I think megavolt. Most penetrating power is seen in gamma rays. Most commonly dissected artery following arteriography by femoral root is uh, inferior mesenteric artery. Maximum ionization potential in helium ion is radioisotopes used as systemic radionuclide P32, SR89 and samarium-153. SR is strontium and P is phosphorus. Okay, least radiosensitive tumor is osteosarcoma. Isotope used in radioiodine therapy is iodine-123. Initial decay rate of radio substance with N is equal to 16 to 1023 radioactive atoms as T of 20 seconds and disagreementation uh, constant 0 0.01 per second is 16 to 1021. In nuclear medicine, gamma cameras are used for measuring the radioactivity. Okay. In loculated pleural effusion, there is formation of obtuse angles against the media stream when viewed in profile. Okay. Have unsharp margins when viewed and face and do not conform to segmental distribution. Imaging uh, investigation of choice for posterior fossa tumor is MRI always. Iodine-131 is used in the treatment of differentiated thyroid cancer. Hyperthyroidism can also be treated by iodine-131. Hyperechoic hepatic metastasis on uh, uh, ultrasound uh, uh, are seen in mucinous cystadenoma. I just want to remind for diagnosis we generally use 123 and uh, for uh, treatment we give 131. Okay. HRCT of chest is investigation of choice for interstitial lung diseases. Fraying and cupping of metaphyses of long bones in a child occurs in hypophosphatasia, metaphyseal dysplasia and rickets. Extensive pleural thickening and uh, classification of diaphragmatic pleura are features of asbestosis. Epiphyseal dysgenesis is found in hypothyroidism. Uh, epidermoid can be differentiated from arachnoid cyst on MRI by uh, restricted diffusion on DWI. Eggshell egg calcification is seen in silicosis. Earliest detectable congenital malformation by ultrasound is anencephaly. Dysgerminoma is a radiosensitive tumor. Craniospinal irradiation is used in the treatment of medulloblastoma. Corpus callosum lesions are characteristically seen in butterfly conditions. Contrast for proper radiographic image in a heavily built person is increased milliampere. Okay. Commonest calcifying brain tumor in child is craniopharyngeal. Central dot sign is seen in Caroli's disease. Biconvex hyperdense region displaying grey white matter interface on CT scan of head injury patients such as extradural hematoma. Okay, biconvex it will be that is extradural hematoma. Subdural will be concave or convex. Okay, background radiation in is radiation present constantly from natural sources. Attenuation value of zero Hounsfield units in CT scan corresponds to water. Eight year old child presents with left sided flank pain and mental retardation. On ultrasound a hyper echoic lesion in the right kidney and multiple lesions in the liver are seen. CT examination of abdomen showed 30 to 50 Hounsfield units density of the regions. 
so most probably it is tuberous sclerosis okay multiple lesions in the liver and there is hyperechoic lesion in the kidney and there is mental retardation after surgery radiotherapy for Wilhelm's tumor is done within 10 days adrenals are the most common organ involved in bronchogenic carcinoma okay acute respiratory distress with hyperinflation of unilateral lung in chest x-ray in a two-year-old child is suggestive of foreign body aspiration a patient who underwent surgery and radiotherapy for a 4 cm tumor in left parietal lobe and two months after he presented with headache and vomiting. Best characterized by 18 FTG PET scan. Okay, this is the investigation of choice. Patient suffering from AIDS uh, presents with a history of dyspnea and non-productive cough. Uh, chest x-ray shows bilateral hilar opacities but no pleural effusion or lymph neuropathy. Okay. Then diagnosis can be pneumocystis carinae pneumonia. A patient presents with raised ICT and ataxia and MRI, well, uh, MRI shows well demarcated cystic lesion with a mural nodule in cerebellum. Diagnosis hemangioblastoma. A newborn presents with CHF with bulging anterior fontanel and Bruyne auscultation. Transfontanel or ultrasound shows a hypoechoic midline mass with dilated lateral ventricles. Most likely diagnosis venopyaran malformation. A male patient was brought unconscious to the hospital with external injuries. CT brain shows no midline shift, but basal cistern were compressed with multiple small hemorrhages. Diagnosis diffuse axonal injuries. A child was taken for CECT chest and uh, contrast was injected. Child developed swellings with which gradually increased. There is numbness and there is pain on passive extension of fingers. He is not allowing you to touch the arm, but a pulse was present. Management is immediate fascia. Seven-year-old patient presents with headache, paralysis of upward gaze, loss of light perception and accommodation, nystagmus, failure to converge. CT shows homogeneous hyperdense lesions above cella in the posterior part of the third ventricle. MRI shows lesions were homogeneous and iso-intense and T1 weighted images and iso-intense on T2 also with intense contrast enhancement. Diagnosis germinoma. 48-year-old woman comes with bilateral progressive weakness of both lower limbs, spasticity and mild impairment of respiratory movements. MRI shows intradural mild dorsal midline enhancing lesion. It is meningioma. 35-year male patient with history of asbestos exposure presents with chest pain, X-ray solitary uh, pulmonary nodule is seen and in the right lower lesion. Okay. CECT shows uh, enhancing nodule adjoining the right lower costal pleura with comet tail sign and adjacent pleural thickening is also seen. Diagnosis round atelectasis. 20 year old female with 6th cranial nerve palsy on T2 weighted MRI shows hyper intense lesion in cavernous sinus showing homogeneous contrast, uh, contrast enhancement. It's mostly schwannoma. Ice cream cone sign on MRI brain is seen in acoustic neuron. Okay. So this completes 100 uh, important uh, uh, points of rapid division. Series 3 radiology. Good luck. All the best.